Okay, well, today we're going to show you the Collins 13 and a half liter water shield spirometer. Uh, the water shield spirometer, the water is actually held in this drum and it encases this uh, uh, bell that as the patient breathes in, they push air in and they push air out of the drum. And you can actually see what a liter looks like. As the bell is going up and down, it's riding on a chymograph drum that is spinning and it measures the volumes that are, are obtained. Now to get the calibration of this correctly, there's a little window provided by the manufacturer where you use distilled water, pouring it in the side, and that level, when it hits the window, that tells you at the correct level of your, uh, for your assessment. Now the chymograph has three different speeds, and speeds mainly are used to save paper. Right now it's moving at a very slow speed, it's a little difficult to see. The next speed over, you can see the bell may be moving a little faster going around, and finally, the top speed. And on the top speed, as the chymograph is spinning, every line is within one second of each other. Now, the paper, to go on this, you want to make sure when you put the paper on that it overlaps in the correct direction. If the overlap is over from here over the top, the pen will glide over the paper, otherwise it could stick on the edge. So make sure when you're putting the paper on to check the direction of the spin so you can do that. The paper, uh, you'll need for this drum to do one complete rotation, you need 15 seconds. So the paper I usually cut at 16 intervals, so I have that extra one to overlap to tape on with. So this extra spool is if you're doing tests longer than, let's say, a few seconds, you can actually go up to a few minutes by having a continuous roll collect the paper for you. So, so we have the chymograph drum that's writing on the, uh, uh, that's being written on by a pen hooked into the uh, volume meter. We also have what they call an accumulator pen. An accumulator pen, for every breath that goes in and out, the accumulator pen moves up 1 25th of the volume that is obtained through the chymograph drum. And since this spins four times in a minute, because this is a 15 seconds to go around, four times around plus 1 25th of a breath, if we measure the volume in a minute, we just multiply it by 100. We have the 25, 1 25th of a breath, and we have the four rotations, make it 100. So it makes it very simple for the mathematical computations. Now, we do have a port down here. If you're doing these longer tests, you can add oxygen so your patient doesn't get a lightheaded, having not uh, maybe used up all the oxygen inside the drum. On the other side of the unit, we have a thermometer. This is so we can make corrections for the volume of the gas. And we have our tube and our closed system. We have a little valve that we can shut, and now no air goes in here. The patient can actually breathe through an opening in the bottom of the valve until they get comfortable with the mechanism. Once we get the valve and the patient ready, we would get our nose clip, and we would get our filter, and we'll put it on our machine. We can turn the valve. The patient's breathing in and out and we'll be able to start our exam. Usually before the patient does this, I will flush all the air out of the machine first so that there's some fresh air in there and it's not maybe older, stale air. Okay, next thing we'll do is we'll actually have a patient run through a test and uh, we'll take you through that process.